sure to check out this Range Rover Sport SVR. So come with me and let's explore the perks of to the side of this car. It has a black roof, carbon fiber wing mirrors, as well as the hood. So you can see that the hood here, it's not a stick on, it's actually painted within. So it's a seamless here, but front looks, and tell me what you guys think. To the sides, here's what the normal Range Rover looks like. So you can see that that car is lowered a bit, and I think wider front track, but the changes are very obvious and it has larger lower front bumpers and you know all the carbon bits here then mm -hmm. onto the side you can see that this car has the bucket seats but we'll get into that for a moment then let's continue over to it as you can see the same carbon fiber pack you would get on the front instead of the glass pack on the normal cars and then lower down it has quad exhaust and i think one of the only manufacturers that makes tips that connect to the exhaust I can't see right now because it's a little bit dark, but believe me on that. It has a rear diffuser, body colored rear diffuser. Then let's check in the interior of this. As standard, we'll just check the passenger treatment first before we head over to the driver's side. Entering the interior of this car, it is covered in leather everywhere. And in this car, it is optioned out with the bucket seats on the front and the inner two tone spec. I'll show you those in a minute. And then upon end, check for soft clothes. It is optional out in this car or it comes standard in this car. So let's get into this infotainment here. So your top screen controls your, inf your infotainment, your music, your radio, your Apple CarPlay, your Android Auto. Then down here is your air conditioning settings. So same method is either a click to push, then swipe right and left. Then here are your vehicle options for off-road, your sport buttons and your exhaust button here. This helmet right here if you've seen my other f-tab video you'll know that this is a dynamic mode in these cars glove compartment another trick hinged up close then another button to open the bottom part let's close that for interior creature comforts i really like these bucket seats it is good that they come in the, this 575 horsepower car because i think going around the corner they will hug you a bit more Let's head over to the driver's side and we'll check about the back seat. So I'm in the driver's seat of the Range Rover Sport and I think for sportiness, this car is hunkered low because of these bucket seats and because I'm very short, so I don't know how tall I am. But for dynamic drive, I think this car really competes with the Germans, the other Germans, because those are the key competitors that I listed in the beginning of the video. At the steering wheel, it has leather, that dual tone leather and it, uh, it's covered in a cream leather on the exterior and black leather on the on the inside passive touch buttons here to control the left side controls the main system and the right controls your inf your digital display your fully digital display that you couldn't get on the pre-facelift car because of course this is the facelift of the previous generation where that is the new generation and they have the sport the sport v8 this car has some really nice sweet touch points and it's easy to use for daily use so i think you could daily drive this car with no problem with enough backseat room for your kids or family check what kind of features are down here so this reveals your first set of cup holders right here then you pull this more and it has a deeper frame down there for like bottles wallets all of that so let's close that i think from the 2008 e63 where it had the this player that used to come out of the center console this is the second best thing the automotive industry has ever seen hope you enjoy the cinematic video and i'll see you in the next one